Mr. Rudy, that had to be a very special uh, story for you. Um, and I am sure you all knew about it beforehand, but uh, that was a, a special morning for Kevin. I'll tell you what, uh, Mark, Kevin has been such an integral part of our show. He has won our highest honor as the Golden Tripod winner. I can't remember the year, but he is, has as much to do with the success of our show as anybody. And the thought that doing the show without him, that, that made a lot of us worried. So uh, the, we are so happy that he made it back. He is a fighter, and fighters always win. So, Kevin, thank you for everything you do for the show. We'll have more on Kevin Coffin in the coming hours. Hey, welcome to the 5 p.m. edition of the Pre-PR. Uh, it's uh, brought to you by the Bill Howell Family Companies. Why? Because they know how. Here's the matchup that we're talking about. We're at here at the Mecca. Mira Mesa is hosting Steel Cannon in the Cox Communication Game of the Week. I am joined by my sidekick, none other than Coach John Carroll, who has more championship jewelry than just about any coach walking the plains here in San Diego County. Coach, good ball game. First of all, it's a good ball game, but I got to ask you, did you just get off the house painting job? You guys can't see this, but besides the white shirt, he's got painter's pants on. I asked for a quote. You guys got to pay him a little bit more or something. I don't know what's going on here. Do you want two coats? The, 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 the two coat price is a little bit more, uh, but we'll get, I'll, I'll give you the estimate later. Right now, let's talk about the ball game. We have uh, Mira Mesa. We got some video queued up of Mira Mesa. Why are the Marauders going to win this game? You know, the Marauders are going to win the game the same way that Steel Canyon's going to win the game. Big plays and ball possession and controlling the clock. And both of these teams are run-first football teams, and it's going to be pretty uh, interesting to see who can take it away from the other team. So then you've already told me how Steel Canyon's going to win the game. We also have, have video of the Cougars. The Cougars are going to win by controlling the clock, not making mistakes, and running the football. And, and keeping the big play players from Mira Mesa, and they've got several from making that big play. They bring that championship attitude. They're coming off the championship season. Does, will that factor into tonight's outcome? Uh, there's no question you win a state championship that uh, your whole program Program is lifted by that. All right, Coach, while you were sleeping, because Lord knows you need the beauty sleep. <laughs> uh, oh, by the way, here are the four big kid pigs on campus. Uh, for those of you who haven't voted yet, uh, you have four choices to win the big pig on campus uh, graphic. Uh, there you are, Johnson, Brown, Barnett, and Tublin. If you haven't voted, go to our, any of our social media sites and cast your hog hunch. If you do guess correctly, you're eligible to win fabulous prizes. Now, while Coach was sleeping, I was up bright and early this morning joining the f folks at 91X. I was on the Moog show. Uh, we have a little video of that. This has now become part of my Friday. Uh, uh, Danielle wasn't there, so I had to look at the two guys, which was not nearly as much fun. But there was a trivia contest. I had to w get five right. I'm 4-0. I'm and, and then the fifth question was... What was the name of San Diego's arena football team? Oh, man. Um, they weren't... The, not the Stingrays. It was... Um... From 2002 to 2005, Vance Joy has a song with this same name. He does. They were over at the sports arena. Oh, I forget. I forget. Ripped, uh, the San Diego Riptide. Yes! Yes. There it is. Sorry. So, anyway, Nick... I... All right, well, the guys that stumped me just happened to be here. Please welcome to, from the Moog Show, John Moog and his sidekick, Jared Day. Uh, Danielle wasn't there. Uh, she's on vacation, so she's not here, but two-thirds is enough. How did, uh, how did we get to be together here? Uh, why, how are two alt-rockers part of a high school football experience? You know what? Alt-rockers makes us sound probably a little bit cooler than we actually are. <laughs> Paul, uh, to be honest with you, for me, I was a band kid growing up, right? So the culture of high school football has been a part of my DNA uh, for pretty much all I can remember. You know what I mean? And so, you know, playing in the band growing up and going to the games and the Friday night lights, it's, it's good vibes. Very cool. Hey, Jared, uh, sidekick to sidekick here. Do you have to cover for your boss the way I got to cover for this guy right here? I will here? tell you, it's like anybody walking onto this field tonight. I have his six. I hope he has mine sometimes. <laughs> you better hope. Yeah. All right, you know. guys, uh, th thank you so very much for uh, joining us. Well, I'll, I'll see you next Friday. I hope you uh, to be part of this Friday night experience. It's, it's great working with you. Folks, 91X every Friday morning, 825. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm with the guys, so make sure you uh, dial us up because... There's always hijinks. Uh, we'll have much more from Mira Mesa High School, but first, these important commercial words.